guys and welcome back to another video as you can tell by the title you know what is happening i'm literally so excited to finally be doing this it has been long awaited for myself it has been a gold mine and i'm finally here hopefully as you can tell by the title i am getting another car i'm getting a car that doesn't run um i'm basically going to be starting it from nothing ish I have been ready for a really long time for a bigger project and I think now is the right time. I've just been looking all over the internet for my different options and stuff and I have a specific car in mind that I'm going to get and obviously I don't have it yet so that's why I'm not saying like that I'm getting that I got. I'm going to be going to check out the first potential today or right now and I'm so excited because it's it's very promising and if I end up getting it then we don't even have to go through more trial and error but yeah none of my friends know what car it is except for Lonzo and hugo which they are gonna go with me because they know more about these cars like more specific things to be looking for it's gonna be a surprise for everybody well, they are the only ones of my friends that know about it so now everyone else is gonna get a little surprise whenever i do end up getting one it's about like an hour and something drive right now because of traffic it's like 3 p.m but we're gonna go still and i really hope it works out it will need a tow because this one doesn't run at all. I was supposed to go look at a different one today in the morning, but the guy never replied. And I messaged him yesterday to make sure we were still on for today. Nothing. I texted him today in the morning at like 6 a.m. and nothing still. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if maybe he's selling there or like changed his mind or something. I don't know. But we ended up not going. That one was running and we would have been able to drive it home if i wanted to take it that one the body was way more beat than the one we're looking at today so i was still kind of like on the fence so i was like yes it runs but the body is in really bad shape and at some point i'm still gonna have to do a rebuild on the engine so i was like hmm so i've just been scouting and the one i really wanted that didn't run as well actually got sold and i'm so sad because i was like still on the fence if I wanted to get a shell, if I wanted to get a running one, like what was like my better option? Like do I want to work more on the body first or like start with like a rebuild? <sighs> There's a lot that has been going on in my brain lately, but I'm very excited to be doing this and I hope you guys are excited to see another car on the channel. There are still going to be videos on the FRS. There's still things I want to do to it, like little things like I still have my headers. I kind of want to get a new wing for it possibly. But I don't know, I'm still like teeter-tottering on what I want to do. But cosmetic-wise, for the most part, other than little things, I'm pretty much done. The next thing for the FRS would be to turbo it. But, 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 why I steered away from that right now is because it is my daily. I don't have any other car to drive. I gotta get to places, I gotta go to work. So I don't want to start a project on my daily car and have it like be out for days or if something goes wrong and I can't drive it like it's just gonna be too much of a hassle I guess I could have just used this money on a daily and then start working on my FRS but I don't know I want something new I love getting new stuff and like starting new things sorry I'm rambling I just want to give like a little background info on it but throw your guesses right now in the comments on what car you think I'm getting and we'll see if you were right but don't expect anything marvelous, anything in a perfect condition. We are literally going to go check out a shell today. That is the whole point of a project car. I literally want to start off of like a canvas and work from it and learn from it. I am going to learn a lot and I personally don't know right now a lot of like rebuilding an engine, putting in an engine, nothing like that, even body work. Like I don't know any of that. But I want to learn and I'm ready to learn and I want to document it all and I think it's gonna be fun I have friends to help me Lonzo knows a lot Lonzo's probably gonna be the number one person to help me because he does all this stuff I, I literally have been talking for over 10 minutes so I'm gonna shut up now and continue on with the vlog there's a fire today guys let me show you can't even really see through these windows but we have Lonzo now Doing some studying on what you can do. Oh my gosh. You can't put older motors in new cars because back then they didn't have emissions. But you can put newer motors. It's like an RX8 motor for FC. We just got here. That's great. That's cool. Those 
Okay, the guy's not out yet, but we're gonna take a look. It's hot in here. Um, so we kind of like want to double check to see if any rust and stuff. It seems pretty cool. Like my service rust with an old car. Like, what yeah. This can be replaced. Pretty sure somebody has that. Like a burnt tortilla. It doesn't actually latch. Yeah, or maybe it's because it's, it's like a little disturbed. I don't think it'll latch all the way. Oh, there we go. Mmm, yes. Peace comes in perfect. I checked all well, the wires and stuff isn't bad. This is pretty much the fuse box for that car. Oh. <laughs> body wise, like, that's the body wise is good. Yeah, yeah like, the body is. Else, I'm like, this is. Throw a motor in there, it's fine. Maybe. Body wise, look, it's something you really can't, like. Headlights. Oh, look, it has a the manual. Oh my god, it does have cup holders. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, it's not terrible. Yeah. I mean, same thing. Oh, here's pretty cool. I can die. It's looking like a no go. <laughs> Damn it. I think there's a reason why it's been. This guy's so like, don't waste my time. Like, ah, right, cool, dude. <laughs> Like if we get there, he has no paper. I mean, it looks like you have to waste your time. Like, oh, you need to and everything. It's all doable. It's just really iffy. So, like, what would you do? Would you be like, okay, go to the DMV, say, I bought this car. Yeah, yeah you just, they ask for the title. You say, I have this bill of sale. And the names have to match, like, the previous owners. And, like, the funny thing about bill of sales is, like, they can literally be written down on napkins. But what I say is, like, might be an issue is that, okay, we can have the bill of sale saying that we bought it from him, yeah. but then how about the one well, from yeah, him that, to the... That's, to the, that's like, one that he had. He had somebody else's that. name and somebody else's name on. He had two different names on there. Uh. Which is, yeah, I guess, but that's why that's why it's iffy. They had to match up the records of, of the previous owner. So now it is two days later since I started this vlog. We went to go check out another car yesterday and it honestly looked good. It had a little bit of damage. But it was fixable and it was for a good price. I checked out the VIN and there was nothing really wrong with it. He just was kind of like lagging to prove the paperwork. But I think he had the paperwork. They just like lost the title. And it was just going to be like this whole little thing. So we were literally going to go back today and go check it out. I was ready to buy it. Because we went at nighttime and everything was so dark there. Like I wanted to come back today. But he actually ended up selling it. He said there was someone to go look at it. I was like, I have cash in hand. If it doesn't go through, please let me know. Anyways, that car is long gone. I was just like searching. I got so upset because I was like, I was ready to buy it. I went on offer up again right now. I like stopped looking into it for a while, for like an hour or two. And I was just like chilling. But I was like, I'm gonna go check. And then an hour ago, another one got posted. As much as I don't want to buy an auto, I would much rather buy a manual off the bat. But I'll end up swapping it. And it does not run right now. But it is for a pretty good deal. And it comes with the engine the body looks pretty straight it even has something that's very me and it's kind of like meant for me like it literally has heart tail lights what the heck what are the chances i find another car that has heart tail lights like my car I told him i had messaged him first and then i was i told lons i was like message him just in case he doesn't reply to me but we told him we have cash in hands so we won't be wasting his time if everything checks out because this is like really stressful all these cars that i have been checking out like i see them and i'll message them and before they even get back to me, they're sold. And I'm like, what the heck is... It's like the Hunger Games for cars right now. That's what I feel like I'm in. Before I get my hopes up too high like I did for yesterday's car, um, we're going to go check it out and see how the paperwork issue is. If it doesn't seem sketchy, probably pull a trigger or even leave a deposit just so it's like certain because it literally got posted today and I'm sure it will sell by today or by tomorrow because it looks in really good condition and it's a really good deal. So Guys, good. I got it. <laughs> I didn't think I was, but I did. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Are you ready to see this? What the heck? It is currently 107 in the morning. I have been here since 10 p.m. I am so tired. I've been waiting for the tow truck for so long. I have AAA membership. Obviously, I was going to use my membership, and they're taking so freaking long. They were supposed to be here at 11.50 the latest, but they were like, oh, we got backed up. It's 1 a.m., and they finally sent me, like, a link so I can see where they're at, and I think they're finally on their way, but yeah, I ended up getting the car. It was literally a roller coaster. I had given up already on this car because 
um, the guy wasn't replying to any of us. He was just kind of reading the messages. But I knew it was because he was getting a lot of messages. And that's what he said he did. He was getting a lot of messages. He ended up reaching back to Lonzo and he gave an address. And I literally dipped. We were at a car meet, me and Hugo. And we dipped and we came straight here. And we checked it out. And honestly, it was such a good deal. And I'm very happy I got it and that I came. Because if I didn't come today, it would have got sold. Probably tonight. I'm honestly really bummed out that the car that we saw yesterday didn't work out. But honestly, it happened for a reason because this one is way better. It actually comes with the motor. I'm happy. I'm just really tired right now. So if I don't show my excitement, that's why. We're all just sitting in our cars because we were literally standing for so long. I feel so bad. I was making them wait like outside. Like the, the guy that sold us the car and his friends were here too. I'll show you guys the car in the morning. Hey you guys, so here she is in all her glory. So this is a 1989 240SX S13 hatch. And yeah, um, obviously as you can see, it's like a little bit built already. Um, like the guy had some wheels, he has a whole body kit on it and he does have some custom tail lights. See closely, they're actually heart tail lights. Like it's very dusty, he had it sitting for a while show you the interior I don't even know if I mentioned the other clips it is automatic but I already did get the manual transmission so that's probably the first thing I'm gonna do like before even getting it running and yeah it has a little dash cover that I'm probably gonna get a new one because this one's kind of like whatever um, the dash is cracked pretty bad got the headlights in the back a little sunroof and yeah I am making another video right after this. It should be up the next day or two days later. I don't know. It depends. <laughs> depends what I decide. But I am going to be doing a in-depth walk around of the car. Like of everything that the guy has told me. And basically my plan. So right now it's just like a little vlog actually getting it. And just a mini little sneak peek at it. We'll be talking about the stuff that's wrong with it that the guy told me. And then stuff that I want to do to it and I'm so freaking excited to finally have a 240 if you know me or watch any of my videos I have mentioned it many times that my next car my next project car will be a 240 so even though I was looking at FC's as well I'm actually really happy that I ended up with a 240 because I have been wanting one for a pretty good while now I do need to give it a little rinse down I'll probably give it a rinse for that video I just wanted to show you guys exactly how I brought this car home Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and make sure you guys are subscribed to keep up with the content. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.